Hi, this is Scott Hubbard again. This is video number five on my list of frustrations. It's actually another one of the old traditional marketing methods that the MLM industry recommends. I was never very good at it. <laughs> uh, that method is inviting prospects to hotel meetings. Now, that always occurred when one of the big guys in the company was coming down to my local area uh, for a big bris uh, business presentation. So I would uh, contact all of my prospects in the local area that I was working with trying to get into my business, invite them to this big, this big uh, presentation at, at a hotel or country club or wherever it might be. Uh, a few well, a few actually said yes, they would come. Most of them had these totally wild excuses of why they, they couldn't be there. But a, a few did say yes, they would be there. I had my best luck when I would go and pick them up. But sometimes I would, or most of the times they would, they would say, you know, it would be better if they drove and that sort of thing. So, but, but when some, sometimes when uh, they said I could come and pick them up, I'd call them about an hour before I went to get them. And sometimes they weren't there. <laughs> so, I don't know what happened in that hour. It must have been a real emergency that uh, prevented them from being there when I was to pick them up, but whatever. So I would go on to the, the hotel meeting I would stand out in the hotel, uh, in the, the hallway there where the registration desk was, waiting for all my people to arrive. Of course, they never did, hardly ever did. Then I would go on into the meeting, I'd be about five or 10 minutes late, and I, I would get a crick in my neck, turning around, checking to see uh, if new people had come in the back door that, I, that uh, were a little bit late. Of course, no one ever showed up like that. So yeah, that, that was just, that was very frustrating for me. Also, uh, we also had business presentations in our home. I would do that. I, I would work many hours at work. I would come home, I'd clean the house. I would uh, help my wife uh, cooking something as a, as a um, little appetizer a little refreshment while the people were there, and then I would spend, uh, you know, most of the evening uh, at this presentation. And, and I had some success at that, but, you know, that just really wasn't what I wanted to do when I came home from a, a full day of work, and I was pretty tired and tired of talking with people, and, and there are more people in my house. But anyway, I really did not care for either one of those present those uh, ways of marketing. Again, I feel that you are chasing after people. You are trying to get them into your business where they may, they may or may not have any interest. Most of the time, they had zero interest in what I was doing. I've said this before in other videos. There's much better ways to do that. This today, it doesn't require chasing after people. It re it means attracting people, attraction marketing. And in case you don't know what this is, you probably know what that means, but in case you don't, go speak with your sponsor. Tell them, you know, I want to know everything there is about attraction marketing. What do I need to do to, to attract people to me? Not just a few people, but a massive number of people. If your sponsor is, is on the ball, they'll be able to help you out, direct you where you need to go. <clears throat> uh, or at least find somebody that can help you. It's, you can't just get a general answer about attraction marketing and expect to be successful at it. It requires knowing and understanding the different methods that will attract people to you. So you know, if you wanna talk with me, feel free to, to get in touch with me. I'd be glad to put you in the right direction. Until the next time, I wish you the very best. Good luck in your business.